Good morning, my friends. Today is day three. It's so exciting. My name is Christy from Help For Your Journey, where my goal is to encourage and inspire you in your Trim Healthy Mama lifestyle. So I wanted to just quickly go over, I'm not gonna film a ton today because there just isn't a lot to film. Um, first of all, if you are saying, what is Trim Healthy Mama? I will link a playlist in the description box below that will explain um, this way of eating to you. Basically, we're separating our carbs and fats. Now, if you're also asking what day three of what? So I challenged myself because I was hearing a lot of people say that eating Trim Healthy Mama is expensive, that you need a bunch of special ingredients to do it, and I wanted to set out to prove them wrong. So I challenged myself for five days, feeding only myself three meals and two snacks each of the five days for $25 total. So in the description box below, I will link the videos that I've already made. I did a grocery haul video, I did a prep video, and I did day one's video, and I still have to um, get day two's out, but as soon as I do, that will be in the playlist as well. So you can kind of see what I've made. Um, I did something crazy with some hard boiled eggs, so you should definitely take a look at that. So anyway, um, I'm getting ready to eat my breakfast. This is a leftover oatmeal that I made from day number one. I did add a little bit of extra um, brown sugar swerve and a little bit of extra cinnamon. This is topped with my one third of a banana. Got my coffee, of course, in my Trim Healthy Mama mug. And I did wanna say, um, one of my items that I bought was this almond milk from the Dollar Tree for $1.25 and I wanted to try it and I just never bought it and it's actually really good. It doesn't taste any different to me than usually I buy like the Walmart brand or I get it from Aldi so I don't buy a name brand anyway but this is really good. I would totally buy it again but it's cheaper to buy it a bigger container at like Walmart or Aldi. I think Aldi is the cheapest price that I have found, but because I had such a limited budget, I needed to stick with the one that was $1.25. So I've got my oatmeal for breakfast. Lunch today is going to be chicken rice soup that I made um, a couple of days ago. Snack is going to be, I think, the same snack that I've been having. Now, here's something that happened. I looked at my menu plan this morning and I messed up. Um, my dessert that I'm supposed to have for tonight was supposed to last me three times and I only made two servings of it. So I am going to have to maybe do some moving around. I'm going to have to just be creative. And so I may not have my same yogurt blueberry snack today as I have been having. I'll let you know if I change that. And I will definitely see you back at dinner time because that is when I am going to be making um, something new. So I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast and I will see you back at dinner time. Bye for now. Hello, my friends. It is dinner time here on day three. And I wanted to show you what I was going to make for dinner. So um, I'll talk a little bit about the day once I get this going. So in this pan, I have some coconut oil. I am making a stir fry tonight. A stir fry is a great way to stretch your grocery dollars because you can just use all sorts of little bits of things that you have in the fridge, vegetables that really aren't looking that good anymore. You can throw practically anything into a stir fry. So what I have is a bag of peppers and onions that I got from Dollar Tree. So I'm actually putting that entire bag in here. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm really excited about eating these. Now, I actually forgot that the other day I cut up half of an onion and it was to go in here, but I have onion for this bag. I think I'm going to put maybe half of this in here and I'm gonna save the other half to go with my eggs that I am going to have, um, I think it's tomorrow morning. 
So that will be delicious to be able to save some of these onions. So, all right, put my onions in there. And then I have carrots and celery. Now this is an S meal. I've got the coconut oil and I'm also gonna be using some sesame oil, but I am hoping to get at least three servings out of this, if not more. So the amount of carrot that I have in this bag is not going to matter for that. I'm gonna pour all this in here. Oh, this is gonna make a lot, yay. Okay, and I have a whole bag of cauliflower rice. Because this is an S meal, we're not gonna add rice to it because that's an E food. So we don't wanna, we don't wanna combine those. So I'm gonna dump this in. I also have some zucchini to add in, but I don't wanna add that in until closer to the end. And I have nine ounces of my chicken that I got um, off of the rotisserie chicken that I bought. So I have that as well, but obviously that's fully cooked, so I don't really need to do anything but heat it up. So today, as you saw earlier, I had my leftover oatmeal and my one third of a banana, delicious. I had my chicken rice soup for lunch, and that was really good too, and I had like a really nice full bowl, and then it got, well, I had my snack of my yogurt and my blueberries, but it got to be about three o'clock, and I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. My husband got home from work, and I was like, I am gonna gnaw my own arm off, like I'm so hungry. So, I had half of a zucchini left in the fridge, so I cut up what I knew I wanted to use in this stir fry, took the other half, cut it into um, like coins, put some salt and Italian seasoning on it, and then I cooked it on this like um, kind of countertop sort of grill panini press type thing. So I made that, and I mean, it was good and everything, but it just, it was like just enough to kind of stave off my hunger. Um, I definitely was not full, you know, after eating it. I think it was like six circles, so it wasn't a lot. So I am finding um, that that yogurt snack, it's just not doing it for me. And I'm not sure, I'm really not sure why, because it's got a decent amount of protein in it. Um, I don't know, it's a good fuel pull snack, so I'm not really sure what is going on with that. But, you know, it could be that I've kind of stretched my stomach out a little bit over the years by eating too much for my meals and snacks to where now when I actually eat a normal amount, it doesn't fill me up, which unfortunately, you know, we can do that to ourselves. And I think our stomach is pretty adaptable and it really doesn't take that long for it to kind of shrink down. So I'm, I'm really hoping to stick with this like kind of schedule of being more, um, like it is not snack time right now, Christy. You, you're not eating right now. And just telling myself no, rather than always just as soon as the idea to eat pops in my head, I, I'm putting something in my mouth. So, um, anyway, so I feel good though. I feel good today. I feel um, excited to, to keep going. This isn't, um, it's not hard. I mean, it's probably been harder on my husband because he's pretty much been on his own to make his own, figure out his own dinner at night because I'm making this and nobody better touch this because this is all I have. So... I do, let me tell you about um, what else I'm gonna put on here. So I am, like I said, I'm gonna use some sesame oil. You guys, if you don't use sesame oil, if you've never had it or you don't use it, you can buy a big container like this at Walmart. I think this was like maybe six or seven dollars. It is amazing and a little goes a long way. So I would really encourage you, this is, a weird brand but that's just from Walmart so that's what I have I'm also going to be using some low sodium soy sauce I have some minced garlic 
um, just like the kind from your spice cabinet. I have some garlic powder, some ginger powder, and some crushed red pepper flakes, and I think that I'm going to use all of that in here as well. I'm not following any type of a recipe to make this sauce. I'm just gonna kind of wing it. I may put a little bit of um, super sweet or gentle sweet in there, um, just because I think in like stir fry sauce, there's usually like a little sweetness in there too. So I might kind of mess with that a little bit, but really this is like dump stuff in a pot and cook it. It's so easy and it's so quick especially because my meat was already cooked. So I am going to get this finished and then I will come back and show you what it looks like when it's all done. So I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, I am back and my stir fry is all done. You guys, it turned out so good. I didn't use a recipe or anything for like the sauce. I just put those spices in that I told you about, soy sauce and the sesame oil. Um, I just kind of, threw it in and then I tasted it and then I'm like oh yeah I do need a little bit just a little bit of sweetener so I just sprinkled it with a little bit of um, sweetener and it did the trick so I want to talk to you really quick about spices because if you do not have a lot of money for groceries and you're trying to make your dollar stretch spices can really be a good friend to you you don't have to get expensive cuts of meat. If you think about it, if you have a like a boneless, skinless chicken breast and you were to just boil it in water and eat it, that wouldn't taste good. But if you were to cook that chicken breast and you put a whole bunch of yummy spices on it, it would be delicious. So it's the spices that we're enjoying. So a lot of my spices, especially the ones that I use a lot, I get these big ones from Sam's it's so much cheaper. So if you have a bulk store, I wish I had a bulk store, but we don't have any around here. But if you have like a Costco, I'm assuming they would have big things um, of spices like this or a Sam's, this is the way to go. It will save you a ton of money on your spices. Don't be afraid to experiment, you know, start slow because obviously once you put it in, you can't take it back out. But if you just go a little bit at a time and taste it, like you need sometimes to kind of figure out what is gonna work and what's not gonna work. So nobody taught me how to cook. Um, actually, my dad was the cook when I was growing up and he never taught me how to cook anything. So I had to teach myself once I moved out. And so it was just like using cookbooks, watching cooking shows, trial and error type thing. So, I just wanna encourage you not to be afraid. This is a great way that you can stretch your food dollars. So I have to eat this, um, let's put it this way. I get to eat this another two times during this challenge. I'll be having it tomorrow and I'll be having it on Friday. And there is a lot here, which makes me really happy. So um, this is a great S dinner, quick and easy. And tonight I will be having, um, well, I haven't decided if I'm going to eat my protein pudding. If you haven't seen the video from Monday, you have to watch that where I make pudding using hard boiled eggs. It's actually delicious. I have one more serving in the fridge, so, um, I'm thinking I'm gonna have that tonight. So really, overall, today was a win. Um, you know, I'm learning a lot. I'm going to be doing a video Friday night to kind of sum up everything. I started out for this challenge just to be, to show people that you could not use a lot of money, not have very many groceries available to you, but you could still eat well and you didn't need special ingredients to do it. And you could be Trim Healthy Mama compliant. But I am learning a lot of lessons along the way. So I've been keeping a list and I have touched on a few of them here and there. And Friday night, I definitely plan on filming again where I kind of go over all of the really kind of surprising lessons that I am learning by doing this challenge. So I think I'm gonna call it a day for now and I will be back to talk to you again tomorrow morning. So bye for now.